Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I know I haven't posted in about like 15 years. I'm not dead, at least not yet. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to make a journaling guide for beginners. I do not know if this video will crash. My pet is full, sorry if you feel... <gasps> sorry guys, guys almost... Is the camera okay? You guys just went through some stuff. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, hopefully you guys are okay, but yeah. So I'm making a journaling for beginners. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is my journal. It is from the 99 cent store. We'll just cover that. We'll pretend like it's from some really rich area, but it's not. So the first thing we're going to do is set, or not set them in, um, and also, oh, before this starts, this is inspired, I believe her name is, um, I forgot the name of her YouTube channel. I sound really bad right now, but. Um, it is, she's this girl, she made a journaling guide for beginners, my sister also watches her, she might remember it, tell you guys, she might tell you guys in the comments, but I'm not forcing you to, forcing you to anything, sorry about that, um, sis, if you're watching this, so yeah, let's get into it, but, um, this was inspired by her, some of the stuff was, but this is what I do, mainly, so yeah, let's get into it, so number one is just going to be kind of, getting out all your stationery so if you're literally just getting in journaling get these these are called happy planner it is actually a planner series it's for planning which is great for bullet journaling um <clears throat> you could use these in journals they if you're more interested into the planners too it's basically you get a planner and you get stickers and it's super cute so i just like to use these stickers in my journal and sometimes i do have my planner and i will use it in there and then I have drawing. I know not everybody draws in their journals, but I love to draw in them. So I have these really cute kawaii books. How to draw cute food. How to draw cute stuff. This is getting really heavy. How to draw cute beast, and I have way more. So, yeah. And if you're going to be journaling or bullet journaling, you need stuff that inspires you. So I have a sticker, not a, not a sticker, a card for my sister. Um, for my birthday, which I just like to put in my journal just because I really like it and I think it's really cute and also the cover is really cute. I have my sticker collection. It all lies in this tiny book. I would definitely recommend buying these. It is called So Many Stickers. I know a lot of people actually use these or the girl I watched uses this. I got this from Barnes & Noble where we live. Um, they have this, only one of these. They're really small, just so you know, in case you're thinking about getting them, but they're really cute, and I think there's a lot of different types of them. And a ruler. And if you have any things that you might not be able to stick with with washi tape, there are, of course, glue. And we will need a pencil in case we make any mistakes. Make sure you could easily erase this. I was going to kind of try and... It's not working out. I tried to make it look like I was erasing it. The camera, and then you can always use washi tape. My car washi tape right now in my room, at least, is all Christmassy, but my cute washi tape is out in my kitchen. But yeah, let's just pretend like I have it. <laughs> so here's the spread I just started doing. So number one is just don't think about what you're doing. I know I do this a lot of times without even thinking about it, but it's good to just kind of relax if you're not. I mean, what am I trying to say? It's like, it's your journal, whatever you like. You don't think about how aesthetic it looks. Just do it however you like it. Once you, if you think it's ugly and hideous, that's, then you could change it. You could tear out the page. But if you like it, let's just say, but it's not like the internet, what internet likes or other people like, that is fine. You might be really into emo and goth stuff and be watching this. But just using your emo stuff, which I doubt that anyone's doing that, but if you are, hi, hello. You might, it might not be um, too common, and people might be, that's hideous, that's ugly. But don't worry, it's your journal, that is fine. So if you ever get worried about it, it's your journal. You're probably never, ever gonna really get any hate on it. The only thing that people are gonna say is probably... That sticker is kind of hideous, or they're going to be, your journal's hideous, I hate it. So even if they say it's ugly, it's your journal. If you actually feel that you need to change it, you could buy a new journal, or you could just simply tear out the pages. Step number two is, um, what was it? 
sound really unprofessional, don't I? Is to get drawing, not even just get drawing, but also start learning how to write better. Maybe some people have really good handwriting, but for me, this is bad. <laughs> I'm bad at writing, so this is just good to do. You could practice your calligraphy. Some pages that you just hate, you can.